hello guys welcome back to mr legend crypto guys in this video we're taking a look at an all coin q2 currently trading for three dollars what's our road to hundred dollars as a matter of fact q2 got to hundred dollars in 2018 and after that we saw it lose more than 99.1 percent of its value in the 2021 bull run we could get to as high as 34 dollars how long we get how long will it take us to get back to hundred dollars can we ever break $100 and break to new all-time highs? In this video, we'll be looking at the Q2 US dollar price chart from 2017 till September 2022. We'll also be looking at Q2 performance against Ethereum, against Bitcoin. We'll also be looking at Q2's performance against Bitcoin, Ethereum, and also look at Q2's market cap. Currently sits around $318 million. In 2020, in 2018, it got to an all-time high of $7.6 billion. Can we break that all-time high anytime soon? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, if you're new to this channel and you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions, and chart analysis, if you want to make money long-term trading or investing in cryptocurrencies, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. Guys, at the point of recording this video, we're having a very green day in the crypto market. Q2 is up 10% in the last 24 hours. In the last one week, it's up 4.3%. But in the last one year, Q2 is still down 70.2%. How long will it take Q2 to get back to $100? In 2018, we saw Q2 go from as low as $3.3 to as high as over $100, more than a 3,100% increase in the price of Q2 in just 227 days. But with the bear market comes huge dumps, and that's exactly what happened to Q2. Q2 went from as high as $105 to as low as $0.85 in just 796 days. The 2018-2019 bear market was very, very brutal. Q2 fell more than 99.17% from its all-time high. But when the market went back to easy mode in the bull run, if you got some Q2 at the bottom, that's after the COVID sell-off when it went to an all-time low, guys, Q2 returned more than 3,700%. So I've seen Q2 in two bull runs, it returned over 3,000 percent, but in the bear market, the first bear market Q2 had, it lost 99 percent. Now, the second bear market, now Q2 is in the second official crypto bear market, and Q2 has lost more than 92 percent from the high we set in 2021. So, where will Q2 bottom in this bear market? Can we go lower than this in the bear market? There's a very, very high chance, but I won't expect Q2 to go lower than this. And 92% is averagely what all coins do in the bear market. They drop 92% from their all-time high. This is not just a problem peculiar to Q2. And why do they drop 92%? It's because when the market was in easy mode, they pump outrageously to the upside. And most times in the bear market, they give back all those gains and go back to their starting region. Now, if Q2 is going to lose another 99% from the high we set, in 2021 guys be lights out for q2 because we are going to set a new all-time low we are going to go below the previous all-time low which was the covid sell-off and we which was the covid sell-off and q2 was trading for 0 0.86 dollars then but right now if we're looking at 100 dollars as the future price of q2 how long will it take Q2 to get back to $100? The market has to go on another easy mode. We have to see Bitcoin going on a gigantic bull run. Because guys, if you take out what is happening, anytime Bitcoin has a significant rise in price, Q2 is going to follow through. All season is going to happen. We're going to see the value of all coins pumping. For Q2 to get to $100, we have a lot of work to do. Now, in important... Important price regions you want to watch out for as Q2 is pumping to $100. Prices where Q2 is going to face significant resistance as we're getting towards $100. The first level you want to watch out for is the $5 level. You can see that even the rally we had in July 2024, Q2 went from as low as $2.3. It got stopped out around the $5 region. You want to watch out for that level. That level has been pivotal for Q2 over the years. When Q2 was launched, it was launched around that region from 
around five dollar region we went to above hundred dollars as we're dumping to goblin town in the bear market of 2018 you can see that q2 has some consolidation around the five dollar region before we went to set a new low we tried to rally out of the lows we got stopped around the five dollar region in the relief rally that happened in 2019 after the COVID sell-off before we pumped to new all-time highs we tried we after the COVID sell-off, before we pumped to new all-time highs, we had to try two different times before we could clear that $5 region. This is why this is a very, very important region for Q2. The mini bear market we had in 2021, Q2 found support around that $5 region. Even before we went to Goblin Town in 2022, we had like two different bounces around the $5 region. And we've gotten rejected of that region once. At some point in time in the future, we're going to come back to test that five dollar region if you can clear the five dollar region that will be a very very huge milestone for q2 holders because after that it might just be clear skies till we get to the 16 dollar region this is another pivotal level for q2 us dollar price chart and we got stopped out in the 16 dollar level when bitcoin was going to new all-time highs in november 2021 and q2 has previously p2 Q2 had previously gone to around $34 in May 2021, but when Bitcoin was breaking its all-time high, I said earlier in May, that was the $64,000 region, and Q2 couldn't do that. Q2 got stopped out at the $16 region. If we can comfortably break the $16 region, then we'll be gaining for the highest price we saw in 2021. That's around the $34 region. And the $34 region is actually important too. If you look at what Q2 was doing in 2018, when we were dumping, after we bounced around the $16 region, we had to bounce straight to the $33 region before we got rejected off that level. And if Q2 is strong enough to pass the $34 region, that will be the highest price we have seen Q2 in the last four years. And I only place the bet that Q2 will not go above $100 because after we pass that $34 region, we can see Q2 breaking the previous all-time high. Now, if we use the Fibonacci retracement tool to tell us, okay, how high can Q2 go in the next bull run from the top that came in for Q2 in January 2018 till the bottom that happened in the COVID sell-off, according to the Fibonacci retracement tool, there's a very slim chance we can see Q2 trade as high as $400 crazy and outrageous right now even though qtm is trading for three dollars i know you might be wondering how will it get to as high as four hundred thousand dollars i know you might be wondering how will qtm get to as high as four hundred dollars guys crazier things have happened in crypto and if bitcoin is going to be trading above hundred thousand dollars i won't place my bets that q2 won't get above hundred dollars now if we take a look at some details about q2 it's currently ranked 106 on coin market cap we have over 150,000 people that have Q2 on their watch list. It has a market cap of $317 million and more than 97% of the maximum supply are in circulation. Where can you buy some Q2 if you want to buy some of these altcoins? Where can you buy some Q2 if you want to buy some to hold through the bear market? Very popular altcoin. You can buy Q2 on Binance, on BitTop, on Hobby Global, on Git.io, on Qcoin and anywhere you get your favorite all coins guys if you take a look at q2's performance against bitcoin it has been nothing to write home about but if you notice q2 usually has its time against bitcoin in 2018 we saw q2 go up more than 770 percent against bitcoin and in 2021 we saw q2 go up more than 770 percent against bitcoin now q2 only outperforms bitcoin when the market is in easy mode at some point in time in the future, we are going to see Bitcoin pumping to new all-time highs and then we'll see Q2 pumping. At some point in time in the future, we are going to see Q2 pumping to new all-time highs. And if Bitcoin is trading above $100,000, you expect some of those capital to flow into Q2 and Q2 will have its own time in the sun against Bitcoin. If we get another 700% increase in the value of q2 against bitcoin that will be the highest we have seen q2 against bitcoin since 2018. even if you take a look at q2's performance against ethereum it has been steadily losing value since it set its all-time high in january 2018 but it usually have its time in the sun against ethereum because from the third of february 2021 we saw q2 outperform ethereum by more than 300 percent I don't know how high Q2 will go against Ethereum in the next bull run, but if you can visualize the world where Ethereum will be trading above $10,000, Bitcoin above $100,000, I'll assume that some of those gains will be translated to the price of Q2 as it has done in the past. 
all this time you saw q2 pumping to new all-time highs and all the time you saw q2 giving you outrageous returns guess what bitcoin and ethereum were doing then they were pumping but q2 was pumping harder than them if you take a look at q2's market cap we have not been able to break the all-time high we set in 2018 q2's market cap got to as high as 7.6 billion dollars the highest we could get in 2021 was when q2's market cap got to as high as 3.39 billion dollars in the next bull run, we might probably see Q2's market cap break the 2018 all-time high. If we use the Fibonacci retracement tool to tell us how high can Q2's market cap probably go in the next bull run. According to the Fibonacci retracement tool, we might see Q2's market cap get to as high as $33 billion. And from where we are trading right now, around $307 million, it means Q2's market cap will almost go 100x. Very outrageous. It might not happen anytime soon, but guys, there's a slim chance it might happen, and I'm banking on that slim chance. So, guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think QTOM is a good altcoin to accumulate through the bear market? Are you going to be buying more QTOM to your moon bags right now, expecting higher returns in the future, or will you be waiting for QTOM to go lower before you start accumulating? I want to hear your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video. Bye.